on vaulting. And for someone like Kyla, that hurts. Now, Simone Biles trying to go three national championships in a row. And Simone struggled night one on this. And really, all week in Indy, she's had problems with this skill. This is very difficult. It's a front with a half. A little bit off again, but stays on the beam. I spoke with Marta just a little bit ago about that skill and Simone. She says it's fine at this point in time, but if it doesn't get more consistent, she won't be doing it in Glasgow. It's another new skill that she's added to her routine. So far, so good, besides that first skill. This is a very difficult dismount coming up. Full twisting, double back. Oh! Wow. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> that always looks good. Jeez, Louise. That was something else. Probably the toughest dismount being done in the world. I've never seen a gymnast do it better than she does. What happens the very next performance? So good. This last tumbling pass is the tumbling pass she actually fell on night one. Not tonight. Oh, the judges have the easiest job in the room right now. That's the Simone Biles we're used to. That was spectacular. Could it be as good as night one? Look at the block she's gonna get. And it was phenomenal. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was great. If there was any doubt that she was gonna be a three-time champion in a row, it's all been just about a race. She's just gotta catch the bar a couple of times. A little bit shaky right there. Another big release combination here. She grabs the bar, and there is, without a doubt, it's a three-peat in the house. And one of the reasons why I say she's one of the most dominant athletes in the world today. Back to back to back to join Kim Zemeskel in the recent history of American gymnastics.